All right, today we are going to be fixing some of the delamination on the ceiling of our pop-up. And this is one of the best spots for you to really be able to see the delamination. See the foam underneath there. So when I began taking um, all of the curtains down, I noticed how many cracks and delamination we had around. So we decided we wanted to really get that fixed as soon as possible. And we had some leftover make from what we did, but we do have cracks and a lot of places that have joints. Now I'm gonna get us a board right there and then put the tension right out there. Now I'm using a Dremel to drill in the end of the cracks to prevent further cracking and to channel the crack to allow more of a bonding area for the ABS repair to adhere to. Has a putty knife. I'm just cutting the box top so I can pour some of that ABS plastic meek stuff that we've made and uh, use a little thing like that to apply it with. Let's sit overnight and sand it. Gummy. And how long have we been doing that? Uh, since Sunday. And today is? Wednesday. Oh, it was like this just nice and See what our uh, redneck uh, invention did. <coughs> uh, oh, that's look at that. One more delamination there. That's one. Oh, this one had a jam in there. No, I'm pushing the whole trail in there. Anymore. This is the worst one. No, these are gonna be. Oh, yeah, we've got a. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm excited to make this one better. It's just the metal. Oh, awesome. 
Everything else is good. Now I can fill all the cracks. Oh, yay! Alright, so we yep. need to get these cracks. The ones we couldn't get earlier. Right, I want to go over a lot of them because you see how it's going to need to be flushed. It's kind of grooved in there where I grooved it. So we need to just fill some more and let it dry overnight. And that way, it's when I go to sand it, it's nice and flush. And we go to start putting the maps up there. It's her idea of putting different maps and locations and stuff up there and giving it a good uh, clear finish. Make it look like a 1950s diner R style. I'm gonna cut these. You're gonna cut those so we can fill it with glue okay. and then we're gonna use the tension poles? Yep. comes off of this make pretty good. is uh where then I guess Coleman made for you to hang some clothes up and you know over time put stuff at it just does it move. we gotta fix all that Cutting that side with my Dremel, a few years old, and then we started cutting this. And apparently, I developed a short because it won't even turn back on anymore. I know it's unplugged now, but I think even the switch gone bad. So I switched it over to the Hitachi to finish doing my cuts, and it worked pretty decent. Alright, this is the one at the front of the camper. I mean, it's pretty strong. Uh, but as you can see, we missed a couple spots with the Meek and or the ABS repair stuff. So I'm going to Meek this again, rub it down, and I'm uh, going to take some of our ABS repair stuff and give it a good coat. fast 
use a little bit of this stuff at a time and work fast with it because it starts to dry. It starts to bond, it starts to thicken as soon as you start to put it on. So we'll have to come back and sit on that again. See how it's already starting to bond. And that's a little roughness. Oh, the kids are fighting, I can hear them. Alright, so as you can see, with the initial um, ABS repair on the cracks, got them all sanded down. I'm going to be wiping them down a little bit with uh, some more of this uh, MEK, cleaning them off, and we're going to add a thin coat of our ABS mixture to some areas just to help fill the cracks in a little better. Got a putty knife to actually do it with this time instead of cardboard. But when you want to do something and you forget stuff, you make stuff work. Get a good rub down. Yeah, this one did well. It's all nice and smooth, no pivots. Once we paint it, you won't be able to see that crack anymore and it's solid as a rock too. That ain't nothing. It's good.